those of us who were picked up in the park were picked up because they said they were in the park after dark, past the time that they were supposed to be there. So they were going to get desk appearance tickets, the parents were going to come get them, and they essentially was going to be going home. And then they found the jogger. They wanted to solve this case so fast to appease the fears of the public. I remember I came home from school April 20th, and it was like a ghost town. I saw a whole bunch of unmarked cars, and I was wondering what happened. And then I heard that they were looking for me. I tried to figure out, well, why were they looking for me? Because I knew I didn't do anything wrong. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to go to the cops and tell them what I saw. And I'll be home before my mom gets back. I came home seven years later. Two weeks into the, the um, accusation, Donald Trump took out a full page ad in all of New York City's major newspapers calling for the death penalty specifically for our case. He's saying bring back the death penalty, bring back our police. This was the climate, this was what was going on back in 1989. But one of the craziest things is that that man who raped the Central Park jogger because they failed to catch him, he was committing more crime. And I got a college degree. But I don't say that to impress anyone. I say that to impress upon us that if I was there in a place that is the worst place in the world, the place we call the belly of the beast, and I was able to get a college degree, I was able to make something of myself, we could do anything. But when you fall in life, it's not a matter of if, but when you fall in life, try to land on your back. And if you fall on your face, turn over. Because when you can look up, you can get up. It's about comeback power.